I'm going to show you how to create this gradient effect. It's it's quite a, an interesting process because my, my friend told me um, that you have to go like a couple of steps you have to take before doing anything. And uh, yeah, it's it's an uh, interesting process. So I'm going to show you. So if you actually uh, create a text here. So if you create a text and it's just a really nice text here we have. But if I go to gradient and I'll be able to find gradient, uh, not there, but here. Usually if I click here and I have the text selected, it should be added the gradient effect because you see here in feel gradient. And that's what I thought. I thought if I just add a gradient, it will just work right away. But apparently you have to do other things because it's kind of a glitch uh, arrow in an illustrator. That's where my friend told me at least, but he found a solution. So what you have to do is actually to go to here, appearance, and here in appearance, make sure first in fill, we just uh, remove the, the fill. So we're just gonna click like this. And now we click on this select text and we click on add a new fill. Now we have again a new field. So basically kind of remove the field and we added the field again. Now kind of that's the what we did. And um, now if we go here in gradient and if I click here gradient slider. Now the gradient just works and I don't know exactly why, but uh, why it works this way and why not just just adding text and just go to gradient I'm not an expert but i really hope you found this workaround helpful and you learn something now with this text now if i go to object or type and create an outline now what this is what i like to do and then I will click on on group. So click on on group. And now we have all the text here. So there's no fill. So I'm just going to click on text. And I can move all the text separately. But um, yeah, it's interesting fact that if I add um, if I click on here and I create an outline, this gradient just disappears. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know already this a fix for this issue. But I will, I will look for a solution. Because uh, obviously you will like the to keep the, the, the gradient still once you add uh, once you go when you create an outline. But I don't know exactly what's the reason. Because now we have an outline. Oh, I can simplify this like this, but still, it's not what I want. You know, I would like to keep this and uh, sorry. Let's go here and go to object or type and then just so I can have a separate, which I do have right now, as you can see. And I do have also the gradient apparently. I'm actually confused myself because now I have the gradient. I think the reason is that if you actually now I don't have the um, let me try this again. Um, so create outline and I'm going to go back here I'm gonna really fast. Remove the fill and then create another one. And oh, it works. Oh, yeah. So after you create an outline, just recreate the redo all the steps. Right. Because now it's cool that you now can right click. And it is it's just a, a group now and you can play with this and uh, it works just fine. And it's pretty cool. You can you are actually able to do this. 
now you have you can move all of them separately you can click on ungroup but if is even like if you click on ungroup as you saw that uh, it just disappeared the gradient but you can move all the letters individually with the direct selection all right so yeah and remember if you add text i found that if i draw like this and i'm trying to resize it will not resize and i found the solution what you have to do is click on text and just click one time and hold control and now resize now it works don't ask me why i do not understand i don't know the reason even if you go to to selection and you try to resize it works you can hold control or not either way it still works if you just click without holding control and just click in your tracking it works just fine but if you just try to res to add a text like this in this way and you try to resize it doesn't work i don't know why but yeah i really hope you found this helpful this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you have any suggestions for the next Adobe Illustrator tutorial, let me know in the comment section, Drop, uh, leave your comment down below, uh, telling me exactly what I, uh, what you want me to create, what type of video, what solution you like, what, 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 what you want to learn, <laughs> what you want to know, you know, about Illustrator. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.